confident. Oh. Today, we bring you the Western Athletic Conference Championship between the 20th ranked Cowboys of Wyoming and the 6th ranked Cougars of BYU. Huge stakes today because if Lavelle Edwards' team wins, they could get an at-large berth in an Alliance Bowl. We'll be back with the kickoff right after this. Vegas, Nevada, I'm Mark Jones along with John Spagnola and Dean Blevins for the inaugural WAC championship game. Wyoming against BYU. Wyoming won the toss and has elected to receive. That's Ethan Potchman, number 37, kicking off to Wyoming's Marcus Brigham and number two, Richard Peace. An Alliance Bowl berth at stake for the Cougars. Also a lot at stake for the Cowboys. This is Brigham. Brigham with a nice return out near the 30-yard line. The starting quarterback for Wyoming is Josh Walworth. He's 6'3", 205-pound senior. He's the leader of the number one passing offense in the country. One things in this pass offense today against the Cougars. Wyoming needs to win today. If they do win, they could go to either the Holiday Bowl or the Cotton Bowl. A loss they could be done for the season. Len Sexton is the lone back. That's Marcus Harris in motion. They give it to Sexton. Dancing up between the tackles, brought down to the 33-yard line and up 21 on the season. Sexton, the lone back, twins to the right. Little waggle action, Walworth on the move. You won't see him run off, and that time he elects to do just that, and he's brought down just shy of the 35-yard line by Ed Keel. A look at the front seven for BYU, the number one total defense and scoring defense in the conference. Shea Muirbrook is a very good play. He's got a chip on his shoulder. Pro scouts think he's a little bit too short. He plays real hard. And the reason this defense is number one is because those corners, Tim McTire right there and Omar Morgan, played very good man-to-man -man coverage. They allow the defense to do a lot more gambling. Yeah, you'll see them come up and press on those corners, on the receivers. Third down and four. They go empty, emptying out the backfield. Well work to pass. Incomplete over the middle, uh, intended for Marcus Harris. He may have heard some footsteps. And that's that floater I was telling you about. He didn't set his feet and fire the football across the middle. And it's 1-2-3 punt for Wyoming on its first offensive possession. Hi. James Dye might be the premier punt returner in the country as four punt return touchdowns in his career. The question, John, is will they kick it to him? Well, Utah certainly did it in their last game. He hasn't fielded too many punts recently. He's going to get an opportunity at this one. Let's it bounce to the 32. Takes a Cougar bounce out to the 32-yard line. And that is where Steve Sarkeesian and the Cougars will take over after that 33-yard punt. Sarkeesian, number 12, 6'2", 210-pound senior. The number one man in the nation in passing efficiency. But just 7 of 12 a week ago, John. That's right. That's 70 yards there. That's the lowest output in over a decade for BYU. And the question today, Mark, is which team's going to show up? The one that averages 300 yards passing or the one that's averaged over 300 yards rushing in the last three games? BYU and rushing, kind of an oxymoron. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. First and 10 from the 33-yard line. Single back set, Sarkeesian to pass on first down. The flanker screen complete to Kaipo McGuire. McGuire out to the 38-yard line, brought down by Larson. Here's a look at the Cougars' Chili's backs and receivers. Brian McKenzie, number 20, last week, actually a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, running for 176 yards against Utah. And Ronnie Jenkins, the true freshman, will keep coming back in and play as well. Larry Moore was said to be too small by some other college recruiters. He comes here to BYU. He happens to be all conference. There's a lot of pro scouts taking a hard look at that man. Second down and five for BYU on its opening series of the game. Here's McKenzie on the sweep. Couldn't get to the perimeter, and he's brought down the conference in interceptions by the way two tight end formation on third down and four for BYU Mealy in motion Sarkeesian looking for his big tight end Atili Muli and Atila Muli was covered nicely on the play and BYU will have to punt that's the difference between going to an alliance bowl or a lower tier to backfield 
Ball worked over the middle, it's picked off. Ellison with the pinch. And BYU has the first turnover of the ball game. The NCAA, but he didn't get one there. Coming back the other way now, BYU first and 10 from the 23. They hand it off. That's McKenzie running between the tackles, made it down to the 20-yard line, departing for Purdue. Sixth season as head coach. Tiller, some people feel very much underappreciated in Wyoming. Second down and eight for BYU. Two tight end formation. Sarkeesian checking at the line, audibly. Yalalui open, catches it at the 15. Brought down about two yards shy of the first down at the 14-yard line by Wayman Living for this one for a long time. Time for them to make a defensive statement on third down and two. All at the 14, Sarkeesian hands it off. McKenzie don't think he got it. Pochman in to attempt a field goal from 30 yards out. He's 16 of 23 on the year. Make that 17 of 24. The Cougars strike first in the shadows of the Rockies. It's 3 nothing when we come back. Respective averages per game. Lots of offense from Wyoming. 5'11", tops in the whack. That's right, 366 is tops in the country. BYU, as you said, number one defense. They're playing very well. Giving up only 312 yards a game and only 18 points. And Sexton really took a lick from McTyre. Well, that's what I talked about. McDyer, Omar Brown, the two cornerbacks are playing so well this year. They're adding a lot to the passing game and to the run support. They go with five wideouts. Wall works, sliding, hook sliding into the 24-yard line. It'll be third down and about six to go. She said the team was a little too psyched up, a little too emotional. Third and six. Wall work, incomplete at the 43-yard line, intended for his go-to guy, Marcus Harris. Pours for an opportunity to return one. Maybe the most feared punt returner in the country. Standing at the 32-yard line for the Cougars. A high spiraling punt. Die takes it at the 43-yard line and flagged down where he got it. A 34-yard punt and nothing on the return. James Dye rolling forward to about the 44. All the time out. BYU with Luke. Yeah, BYU with the lead, 3 0. Two tights, and Ronnie Jenkins now the featured back. Play fake. The waggle, Sarkeesian complete to his tight end, Itula Mealy. Oh, he looks six hurt. Four senior. Pound freshman. Second down, and six to go. Sarkeesian's going to pass. Underneath to Jenkins, and Jenkins is brought down at about the 48-yard line by Jim Talich, the team's top tackler, number 94. The Cougars have to have a little better spacing than that. Three receivers on third and nine. Sarkeesian steps up and runs it himself. Sarkeesian with the first down to the 31-yard line. Showing good escapability that time, picking up 20 yards before being tackled by Brian Brown, number 13 for the Cowboys. They win today. Boy, John Makovic would be pretty good in Vegas right now, rolling the dice on that fourth and short play. Well, how about James Brown with the prediction? I mean, I haven't heard a prediction like that since Joe Namath at 69. Well worked. Predicting that things would go well for the Cowboys, and they did on that play, Marcus Harris down to the 43-yard line, another first down on that 19-yard game. Quite a year he's had. Mm, you can say that. One for four is quarterback Josh Walwer. Brigham on the draw. Fumbles it. Still loose. And out of bounds. <laughs> Second and five. Incomplete. Broken up nicely that time by number 30, Ben Cook for the Cougars. 
the left side of the formation, but they're going to try and move him all day. We haven't seen them run that flanker screen for him yet. Harris complete on the quick slant. A first down at BYU's 28-yard line. Ellison making the stop. And they stretch the defense again this time with four wideouts. In the backfield. Front, Harris. And it's whistled dead incomplete at the 35. 28 for Wyoming. Brigham in motion to the top of your screen. Well work on the out pattern. Incomplete. Now looking at third down and 10 for Wyoming. Three receivers to the top of your screen. Marcus Harris is the middle one. Piece is split to the bottom. Looking for Harris in traffic. Almost picked off again. Incomplete. He's got to step and throw that football with more velocity. His coaches have been working on that all week. Corey Weedle trying to tie the game up at three. And he misses. No good. The all on a game you saw on ABC. BYU now with an opportunity to go to the Nokia Sugar Bowl. And Brian McKenzie might have sugar on his mind. A nice run this year. Good explosiveness that time. First and 10 from the 42. The Cougars running again. McKenzie again plowing his way over the 45 brought down to the 47 yard line Jay Jenkins and Brian Lee making the tackle Sarkeesian to pass complete over the middle to Kiala Louie down near the 40 yard line stopped at the 42, an 11 yard pickup and a first down for BYU. Come on, come on. Run it on first and 10 of this game and our expectations. McKenzie running on that last attempt, getting two yards at second down and eight. Ball at the 40 yard line, Cougars lead three to nothing. That's James Don. Jai can make things happen. A first down at the 29-yard line. Dye picking up 12 yards. Chuck Polson making the tackle. But James Dye, number six, the 5'9", diminutive senior from Oakland, California, symbolizes all the things that are good about college football. Yeah, K.O. Kialalui came in from the outside and threw a block, too, that sprung James Dye. And, of course, he's got such great speed and skill. All you need is a little bit of crack for him. Four career touchdowns returning punts. There's a look at Jenkins out of the backfield. And that's Jenkins. Sarkeesian giving him a block. Jenkins... Down to the 17-yard line, another Brigham Young University first down. And look, there's the rushing game. The last three games, both of these players have averaged 300 yards now, or 300 yards total for each player, and four touchdowns in those last three games. It's a newfound rushing attack for the Cougars. Edwards loves it, too. This is Jenkins again over the right side. Ronnie Jenkins running down to the 11-yard line brought down by Levin. they just they want to play and they want to lean on as much as possible yeah youth being served now mckenzie in the game for jenkins johnson in motion it's mckenzie mckenzie needs a block mckenzie takes it to the house touchdown cougars But has his great running skills by Brian McKenzie, the J.C. transfer, came into this team, and that's a great one-two punch these two uh, schools have, or this team has right now when it's running back. He puts a great move on Brian Lee, the strong safety. Fakes him out, and Lee came up and completely whiffed. Potchman in for the extra point. The Cougars lead 9-0 out of the hold of Allen Boardman. Hodgman nails it, and BYU leads 10 to nothing. 
This run by McKenzie, capping an eight-play, 72-yard drive. We'll be right back. It's a game when they discovered that they could run the ball consistently. He said, we've been throwing the football so long, we thought we'd put a little fun back in the game and <laughs> run it now. Wyoming goes empty. Well worked to pass. Oh, Overthrows no. Marcus Harrison. John, there again, you mentioned earlier, he's got to put a little velocity onto the ball. That time, he seemed to latch you of 10. He's missed his last four passes. Sexton in motion to the top of the screen. Warwick eluding one tackler. Completes the pass. And now it's ruled incomplete. It was intended for Sexton, and he was out of bounds. It's nearly identical statistics. Yeah, they are. Walworth well with 31 touchdowns and Sarkeesian with 32. Now, Sarkeesian did his damage in 13 games. What's interesting here, Sarkeesian is a higher-rated quarterback than Walworth because he has a higher completion percentage. That whole pass efficiency rating, that's one of the factors. Walworth completing 64% of his passes and completing that one to Marcus Harris at the 38-yard line for a first down, a pickup of 18 yards in him around. Quarterback drawn, first and 10, Walworth. Not the quickest quarterback afoot, out to the 43-yard line. Trying to get to the corner, pushed out of bounds at the 44-yard line that time. You know, it makes it easier to run inside when you spread out a defense. Third down and four, they go with four wideouts. Walworth. Looks to the near sideline and right at the first down marker complete to Durenincourt. Free. They're going to come from the outside. That gives Walwick a little more time and a better lane in which to throw in. Yeah, they've only given up 21 sacks this season. Single back set. The draw play to Brigham. And Brigham has nowhere to go. Tackled at the 46-yard line. Beautiful backdrop here today at Sam Board Stadium. The Western Athletic Conference Championship game, the inaugural championship game. Look at the mountains there in the background. Little postcard shot there. Second down and 13 for Josh Walwork in Wyoming. They trail 10 to nothing. BYU blitzing. Walwork overthrows Harris at the 35-yard line. Not today, Wyoming is two of two on third down conversions. On this drive, actually they are two of two. And they step back and call a timeout. A pensive quarterback walking to the sidelines. The Cougars lead by 10 when we come back. No backs, they go empty. Walwork has his receiver. And they come up short of the first down at the 44-yard line. Richard Peace, number two, made the catch. And he was brought down nicely by Ben Cook, who didn't go for the fake the last season when these two teams met. Third quarter action, there he is, James Dine, on the punt return. How do you say 90-yard return for a touchdown? Dye got a couple of good blocks and was sprung loose. Could not be run down from behind, and the Cougars went on to win it 23-20. to We were talking to Dye earlier a couple days ago. He says that of all the punt returners that he's watching, he watches a lot of video. Ismail, Rocket Ismail is the guy that he admires the most. 8.37 to play in the first half. BYU leading 10-0. Out to the 29-yard line is Brian McKenzie for the Cougars. Second down and seven for the Cougars. Eight minutes to play in the first half. Sarkeesian has a man open. Incomplete to Ben Cahoon in the Pacific Division. Third and seven, Sarkeesian. Sacked back at the 22-yard line. This Wyoming Cowboy defense led the conference in sacks. There you see an illustration of why. Looking for a punt return, staying in his own 25. Here's Gordman with the punt. Harris at the 27. Cuts it inside. 
Oh, Harris. Oh, gang tackled at the 43-yard line. He looked like a puppet up there, didn't he? Wow, like a red doll. A 51-yard punt and a 16-yard return by Harris. Drives, and of course, with Brigham's carry there, they got a good start on this drive. Still no points on the board, though. Warrior locks it up for Harris, and he's picked off. Lane Hale, the strong safety, came over for the pinch. And Walworth throws his second interception of the ball game. Who, as a result, with the ball at the 26-yard line, first down and 10. Dustin Johnson, the big fullback, with a first down out to the 39-yard line. Robbie Duncan, the safety making the tackle, a 13-yard pickup. Approaching on that zone, second down and two as a result. 4.44 to play in the first half. BYU leading 10 to nothing. Out near midfield is Brian McKenzie with a first down for the Cougars. A look at the series record, BYU with the lead. Two charter members of the Western Athletic Conference doing battle today, and I guess a little poetic justice, John, in the fact that both are playing in the inaugural championship game here. That's exactly right. It's one of the best rivalries in the WAC going back to 1960. One of his less flattering <laughs> moments. <laughs> Second down and eight for BYU. Sarkeesian. Over the middle and finally brought down at the 29-yard line is Kiala Louie by Janae Jackson. A pickup of 20 yards and a first down for Sarkeesian's Cougars. Well, I just didn't see a lot of room there for K.O. Kiala Louie to catch that football. He'll be coming across from right to left, number three for BYU. And very tight coverage, but Sarkeesian steps up, and unlike his counterpart, steps up and throws a strike there to Kiala Louie, right in front of Brian Lee, number 45, the strong safety. Kiala Louie won the Texas A&M game on a touchdown catch on a streak route. He's a fun kid. I watch him at practice. He likes to goof on other players. <laughs> He's always running around with a big smile on his face. Here's Jenkins running around, but this time brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Second down and 15 now for BYU. Play fake. Sarkeesian backside pressure, and he's brought down to the 37-yard line by Chuck Polson. Polson getting the start today, scoring game at 10 to nothing, with 1:45 to play in the first half. Third and 17 for the Cougars. Out of the backfield, Johnson catches it. He's brought down at the 29-yard line, short of the first down by about 10 yards. Hodgman started at Washington, a former soccer player. And likely Johnson, his predecessor, never played football before this year. This field goal attempt from 46 yards out. And he nails it. It's good. And he had a lot of room to spare. Hodgman giving the Cougars a around 40 per game. And right now it's 13-0 for BYU. Oh no, my pockets are kind of empty. You know, Wyoming right now only has 105 yards offense. They average about 500 a game. Ball works 5 for 16, 62 yards and two interceptions. So, not played well in the first half so far. And lacking that zip on the ball today. Escaping pressure. Walworth's going to run it himself. He tiptoes out of bounds at the 23-yard line, and the yeah, clock failed to move on that play. And the ref just, <laughs> the ref just got knocked down. A lot of bad things happening here. The referee shouldn't go down on the ground. The clock should work. Clock with a little malfunction. Not sure how much time should have elapsed, but Might I'm be sure a... to get it straight. Yeah, that rodeo is a hard ticket to get. It oh, sure yeah. is. A lot of prize money at stake. That cowboy hat, some belt buckles, and yep. look at that belt buckle on that guy. <laughs> wow. A lot of Wyoming fans making the trip from Laramie to support their team. And they're a program that has come under criticism of late for not having fans that support their team. So you, you see on the sidelines there, Lavelle Edwards and his staff are getting after the officials for the problem with the clock. They recognize it as well. Now it's at 49 seconds, so they have adjusted it. Joe Tiller. Perhaps his last game as head coach for Wyoming if they do not go to a bowl game. Second down and six. Tiller's crew will go to Purdue next year. This is Sexton. Sexton down to the 30-yard line with 42 seconds to play in the first half. Now that Joe Tiller is leaving, 
next year that he'll be the most bald, baldest coach in, college, <laughs> in the conference. Watch this block by Rob Bollinger. The left tackle comes down to Muirbrook. Muirbrook never saw him, and that's where size does play a factor sometimes when you're playing middle linebacker. Back to the action. Sexton out over the 40-yard line. And a first down for Wyoming. Hale again on the tackle. An 11-yard pickup for Sexton. Well, what kind of admission is this? You have a team that averages 366 yards a game. They're in a two-minute drill, and they've just run the ball on back-to-back -back plays. It you know, makes no sense. It means that wall work, I think, uh, they're giving up on halftime here. They're not trying to score. They have good field position. They have two timeouts. You know, I don't understand what they're doing right now offensively, but, uh, you know, I guess wall work is just going to try and take it into the locker room and regroup and come out in the second half, but there's some booze here. And the Cowboy fans that made the trip from Laramie, hours from Laramie, don't like it. A chorus of boos raining on Joe Tiller as they head to the locker room at halftime, trailing BYU 13-0. Valvoline's Ryan Jenkins, the track man. Nice return out to the 33-yard line. A 29-yard return, Brian Brown making the tackle for Wyoming. Look at the halftime. James Dye, on return for 90 yards. He said there could have been a, a few uh, flags thrown on that play. Said the officials and the team were playing against them that day. Trying to avenge that loss of a year ago. Yalalui in motion to the top of your screen, first and ten. Sarkeesian complete over the middle. I'm sure they'll talk about that one. Here's Jenkins. Tiptoeing through the hole out to the 28-yard line. Ronnie Jenkins tackled by all three linebackers. Over 100 tackles this year for Wyoming. Yala Louie in motion to the top of your screen. First and 10, Sarkeesian hands it off to Dustin Johnson. In the bowl alliance. Possibly the Sugar Bowl. Sarkeesian sacked and fumbled. Wyoming's going to take it in for the score. Jay Jenkins with the touchdown. This is what this defense specializes in, sacks and turnovers. 34 turnovers on the year. That's the 35th there. They sack the quarterback. They create pressure up front. Push the ball and run with it. He has extremely good balance. And he's a punt returner, too, which always helps. Versatility, the key to his game. First and 10, Walwerk. On the slant to Sexton, he's a good receiver. Sexton with another first down at the 24-yard line, picking up 15 yards. The Cowboys marching on right now. 9.43 remaining in the third quarter. Wyoming playing for its bowl life. Sexton between the tackles down to the 16-yard line. Grades in order. Now he's at Wyoming playing on Talich, and he drops the ball. Yeah, when you use a play like that, you want to take advantage. That time they couldn't, though. Sarkeesian, under pressure, throws behind his intended receiver. Chad Lewis, the tight end. It'll be third down and ten for BYU. For those of you joining us late, Mealy suffering a knee injury in the first quarter of the game. Third down and ten for the Cougars. Sarkeesian checking, throwing, incomplete. At the 45, they'll have to punt again. Sarkeesian's going to pass. Tight end's wide open. And he hits him. Chad Lewis at the 35, 25. Lewis corralled finally at the 13-yard line by Chuck Polson. He picks up 30 yards and a Cougar first down. Well, jumper. First and 10 from the 14-yard line. Out of the backfield, number 22. Atiura. Down to the 14-yard line, tackled by Brian Lee, the strong... BYU, after playing in a bowl game, will play in 15 games this year. That's almost an NFL regular season schedule. It's a long grind for sure. And a half to play in the fourth quarter. Sarkeesian has time into the end zone. Touchdown, Lewis. The Cougars will take the lead.
Chad Lewis get a bat on the head from Steve Sarkeesian, working one-on-one. -on -one. Looks like he's with Jay Jenkins, number 42, the linebacker. Does he get a good jam at the line of scrimmage? Lewis takes his time and sells that post move, breaks out into the corner, and he's wide open for the touchdown. Hotchman with the extra point. It's good. It's 20-17, to 17, BYU leading. Lewis, a communication major, getting his point across that time. The Cougars lead. Job down at Alabama. Josh Walworth looking for a little more comeback magic. He's done it in the past. His team trails by three with 11.28 to play in the fourth. Walworth wide open. Peace. Still on the loose. Still on his feet. <laughs> Richard Peace. <laughs> That's a man running tall. He broke three tackles, picking up 66 yards. Walworth completing half of his passes. Sarkeesian well over half, 17 to 24. But Walworth with three interceptions today, all three of them leading to scores. Two led to a field goal. The lone back, four wideouts out of the play for the Cowboys. More motion up front. Flag down at the 20. The pass is incomplete, intended for different times this season. They've come from behind to win it in the fourth quarter. In fact, Walwork led a John Elway-like 96-yard drive for a touchdown against Colorado State in the 25-24 win back on November the 16th, the last time they played. He was 6 for 8 on that drive, so he is accustomed to pressure pack situations. Here facing second and ten, the quick toss to Sexton. Chopped down at the 14-yard line. Backfield for this game. As third and ten. Harris split wide to the bottom of the screen. Walworth goes into the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys! Seraf! Marcus Harris may be the second half for Wyoming. They did wake up. BYU just 57. That was that whole drive with Chad Lewis on his touchdown reception. 9-16 to play in the fourth quarter. First and 10 for the Cougars. Sarkeesian incomplete. He had Jenkins matched up against a linebacker. Number 36, Chuck Polson. Came in as a JC transfer. He actually had a baseball scholarship to USC. And then he left that school. Norm Chow talking to K.O. Kialalui. But Steve Sarkeesian had a baseball scholarship to USC, he left the school, then he went to El Camino JC, and then he came here and started right out of the JC uh, program. Here he is back to pass on second down. Sarkeesian on the move, completes it to number 22, Atuaya. He and Walsh, very good friends. That's how he knew Walsh was leaving early and decided to come to BYU. He goes up top. This time, Dustin Johnson squeezes it. Last time, on that same play, he dropped the ball when he was wide open. He beat Brian Lee for the out of the shotgun on second and 13. Johnson wide open. Nice move in the open field. Has the first down at the 23-yard line. Dustin Johnson, not known for his elusiveness, made a nice move in the open field to pick up 18 yards and a first down with 7.42 to play in the fourth. He only had 23 receptions coming into the season. They blitz and Johnson on the carry. And Johnson is bulldog. There's a fumble. And now they're going to rule that it was down first. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Speak a little French. Second down and seven for the Cougars. Yala Louie in motion. Backside pressure on the blitz, and they get to him. The fifth sack of the afternoon, Chuck Polson. Points instead of just kicking a field goal here if they don't convert, Mark. BYU playing for an at-large Alliance Bowl berth. That's what's at stake. Under pressure, Sarkeesian complete. Atuaya down to the 13-yard line. A goal here, Sarkeesian. Looks like the decision's been made. He looked like he looked over and... He's shown him that there's not that many yards to go for, and the big tight end comes in, the 300-pounder, John Moala. Moala, you've mentioned big, <laughs> 300 pounds. John, when he sits on a dollar, dollar bill, blood comes out of George Washington's yeah. nose. <laughs> and Lavelle Edwards told me, yeah, he can afford to lose about 20 pounds. He is huge. They got the first down, McKenzie. 
And it's first and goal for the Cougars from the six. Brock on first and goal. McKenzie the lone back. It's McKenzie. Brought down to the three-yard line, tackled by Tollich, number 94. Draw trap because he came off a drop-back motion by the quarterback. But now they do a lot of different things in the running game. Yeah, Edwards there on the sidelines telling us earlier, you know, hey, it's nice to have one of those good speedy backs. <laughs> I like this. Second and goal. Johnson in motion. McKenzie. And goal for the Cougars who trail by five against Wyoming. An at-large Alliance Bowl berth on the line for BYU right here, right now. Atuaya, the lone back. Kialalui in motion. Into the end zone, incomplete. The Cowboys hold on third and goal. It's fourth and goal now. Half yard line for Steve Sarkeesian. A defining moment for both these teams. Kialalui in motion, Sarkeesian. Still has time. He's got to throw it and finally does. Incomplete. And the Cowboys hold and will take over on downs. Night has fallen here in the desert with 2.09 to play in the fourth quarter. Warwick out of his own end zone. Incomplete intended for Saraf. So the Cowboys will have to punt out of the shadows of their own goalposts. And BYU will get possession with around two minutes to play. That would have been a huge... ...about who's on Wyoming's list and who's on Purdue's list. He's already spent a week out there and done some recruiting. He plans to go out this week as well. But, you know, you're talking about a guy who wants to get started, but he doesn't want to finish this run either. A lot of his players feel good for him. Yeah, they do. They feel good that he's going to get an opportunity. Langley with an opportunity to get his crew out of a hole. A look from the end zone. I'm wondering if they're thinking safety here. They and are. John, you called it. Langley steps out of the back of the end zone, burns a little time in the process. With 1.56 to play, they give up the deuce. Langley is punting for the Cowboys from the 20. Just moments ago, he stepped out of the back of the end zone to take a safety. Well, we've seen some interesting calls at the end of games today. John Makovic on fourth and one from his own 30. Joe Tiller here taking the safety. And a fumble. Who's got it? BYU recovers at its own 40. And a collective sigh of relief coming from the Cougar sideline. But well, you, you know talk what? about close calls. Hugh Sarkeesian has 154 to work with. That's a lot of time for him. Out of the backfield to Ronnie Jenkins. Jenkins hand walking across the 45, brought down to the 46 yard line. The clock running with 147 to play in the fourth. Jay Jenkins making the tackle. BYU with one timeout remaining. BYU has to pick up their pace a little bit offensively. Mark Atuaya checks in. They're making substitutions. Taking a lot of time calling this play. Yeah, second and five. Split back. Sarkeesian's going to pass under pressure. Gets it away complete to Kiala Lulu. And he's brought down at near the 41-yard line by Robbie Duncan. A 13-yard pickup. They'll stop the clock with 120 to play and move the sticks for the first down. The ball's at the 41. Remember, they'd have to get to the 34 for a 51-yard field goal by Ethan Pochman. That's his career long. Keep that in mind. Single back set this time. Three wideouts for the Cougars. Atuaya, the lone back. Sarkeesian underneath, oh, no. incomplete for Kaipo McGuire. Give up a lot of yards, but they do make big plays. Second down and 10 for the Cougars from the 41. Sarkeesian. Lots of real estate ahead of him, still on his feet. Down to the 28-yard line, a first down with 104 to play. They stopped the clock. Jenkins made the stop. 13 yards on the first down 
for Sarkeesian. One quarterback in the nation in pass efficiency at work. 53 seconds to play. Has time. Nobody open. Completes it. Atuaya brought down to the 13-yard line. How about Atuaya? Everybody's expecting them to run out of bounds. He dips back inside and almost slips through into the end zone. 17 yards on the gain. Brown making the tackle. Hey, forget about field goal. They might be thinking touchdown right now, John. Yeah, the stoicism right there. So they remark in Provo about him. You know, he said Lavelle Edwards is real happy. He just hasn't told his face. That's all. <laughs> but he's a delightful man to be around. There's a smile in there somewhere fighting to get out. 38 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. BYU trailing by a field goal. First and 10. An Alliance Bowl berth on the line for Sarkeesian. He wants to pass. Has a man. Not too high. Brought down at the eight-yard line. Boy, that was a pick play. Kaiko McGuire came inside. The ball's thrown behind the line of scrimmage. Clock running with 22 seconds to play. BYU has one timeout remaining. Wyoming doesn't have any. Split backs. Sarkeesian almost sacked. Atuaya makes the catch. And he's down at the three-yard line. We're going to call timeout. One second to go. Oh, 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 did they wait? Yeah, Sarkeesian spent a lot of time running around. Then they forgot about the clock. And Atuaya could have scored a touchdown, too. I think they were worried about that. Yeah, well, they, now they make it two seconds on the clock, so that's when the timeout was actually called. Kochman in for the field goal attempt. This would tie the game up. The attempt coming from 20 yards out. He's missed one today. He's made two, one from 30, one from 46, and this one is right through the pipes. We're tied, and we will go into overtime. It's 25 apiece. Okay, my visiting team, you get to call the coin buttons. Helmets, heads, this is tails. Heads, heads. He calls heads. It's tails, BYU has won the toss. And they like to go on defense, offense, or select the end of the field, which one is going to go on defense. You wish to go on defense. Which one is going to go on defense? BYU will start off on defense, the Cowboys on offense. We'll be right back for overtime in a minute. Game winning it for them. sacked at the 30. Henry Bloomfield, who plays the game at 100 miles per hour, says raise the roof. Played in overtime like a normal game. You can make first downs, but certainly they want to try and get a first down or at least get in better field goal position now. Got to get to the 15. Second and 15. The quick slant almost picked off. Number 30, Ben Cook, who's played a fine game tonight. Just what they want to do if they want to try and get a first down or just get some yardage here to get in better field goal position. Right now, John, they have the ball in the middle of the field at the 30. Wall work to the sideline. Incomplete of the 23. Darren Oncourt couldn't hang on. One from 20. Missed one from 45. He's already won a game for them this year in overtime. And he pushes it to the left. No good. BYU now will be on offense. If they score, they win it. It's that simple. They get the ball in the 25. Now look at the possibilities there. Wyoming, if they lose this game, could be shut out of the bull picture altogether. Johnson and McKenzie in the offset eye for the Cougars. First and 10 from the 25. 
It's McKenzie over the left side of the line. Running off tackle, gaining five yards, running over John Tate down to the 20. Pat Larson, number 92, making the tackle for the Cal Bar in the first period of overtime, and BYU's in a position to win this game. Sarkeesian hands it off to McKenzie. Bouncing it outside. McKenzie about two yards short of the first down at the 17. A look at the number one passer in the nation in pass efficiency, Steve Sarkeesian. Yeah, but I bet they run left here. McKenzie. Close to the first down. Stopped right at the marker near the 15. The thinking there, Mark, with the ball in the right hash, is just either get the first down or get the ball more in the middle of the field for their field goal kicker. It's focused on that man, place kicker Ethan Pochman. For the win, he's 3 of 4 on the day. He's made one from 30, 46, and 20 yards out. He's missed one from 43. This attempt coming from 32 yards out. Out of the hold of Alan Boardman. It's over, the Cougars win it. Lavelle Edwards has his 18th WAC title. What a finish for Dean Blevins and John Spagnola. I'm Mark Jones. The SEC Championship is next.